A former assistant teacher accused of inappropriately touching a St. John's County four year old is tonight in jail. A judge revoked Anthony Guadalupe's bond after viewing a videotape of the alleged assault. The decision was handed down in a courtroom packed with both parents of students at the Chappelle School and also supporters of the accused. On your side, Atia Collins was in the courtroom. She joins us live now. And Atia, what was the mood today inside that courtroom? Good afternoon. A very emotional, intense situation inside this courtroom here in St. John's County. Members of both sides of the aisle bursting into tears once the judge made the decision that Guadalupe must remain in jail, revoking that bond, saying it's the only way to protect the community. 18 year old Anthony Guadalupe did not speak, but did occasionally weep at this hearing where prosecutors argued he should not be allowed to remain free on bond. He's more than just a risk judge. He is a clear and present danger to the citizens of St. John's County and specifically the children. Prosecutors revealed new details about the classroom video that allegedly shows Guadalupe touching a four year old beneath her dress. Prosecutors described the incident as occurring over a span of 25 minutes in the presence of other children and during parent pickup. Judge, he was so brazen in that video. There are other kids crawling on him, hanging on his arm while he's committing this crime. At least 40 people showed up in support of Guadalupe and several spoke, including his mom, dad, and pastors at his church. We apologize for anything that looks inappropriate. It was not that intention. We are a loving and affectionate family. And it's, it's, a, it's a big misunderstanding. After reviewing the video, the judge said proof of the allegations is evident. He said due to Guadalupe committing the alleged act on video and in the presence of others, no out of custody supervision would be sufficient to protect the community. At least one person seated with the victim's parents wept at the judge's pronouncement. Guadalupe's family broke into tears as he was led away in handcuffs. Outside the courthouse, a pastor that spoke on behalf of Guadalupe says he is praying for both families. We thank God that we live in a country where, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. And we just pray for justice to prevail. We pray for the truth to come out, for lies to be exposed. But again, we want to make sure that we're letting people know that we are praying for both sides. We yeah. believe that both sides need to be covered in prayer. A letter from the CEO of that charter school was sent to parents this morning. It says that more alleged incidents have been discovered during their investigation and that all parents have been notified. At this time, Guadalupe has not been formally arraigned, but he has submitted a not guilty plea. Reporting in St. John's County, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.